Hello everyone, this is Soul Sweat with Julia and I am Julia. Here today I have a on-the-go yoga flow for you. Of course, for one of those busy days where you don't have a lot of time to uh, take a full practice, but you still want to get the body moving, your heart rate going, and take care of you. So, uh, if you have two blocks, please grab those. If you don't have two blocks, soup cans, water bottles, something to provide some hamstring length for you. And let's jump right in and get started. I'm gonna have you starting off in child's pose today. So let's bring the big toes together. You can take the knees nice and wide if you want them, or if you wanna keep them a little bit closer together with whatever is calling for you right now. And take the forehead, the third eye down onto the mat. Soften your shoulders away from the ears. Take a few moments as you settle in. Check in with your body. Notice anything that's going on within you. Maybe how you're feeling today. What you're feeling. Where you're feeling it. And let's move into the body a little bit deeper and start to check in with the breath. As you do, take a nice deep inhale in to fill your breath all the way up to the top. Anything you need to release or let go, big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Doing that again, inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. One more time, inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top and pause. Seal off your lips, press the air back out through your nose. As you transition into that yogic breath, drag the breath in through the nose, down into the belly, exhaling from the belly, through the ribs, the throat, and back out through your nose. And right now, as you're here breathing, I want to set an intention simply to stay present, especially if you are moving quickly today and you have a lot going on. It's so important that you stay present with the moment that you're living in helping to make life seem a little bit more manageable. When we got caught up in what we have to come or what all the things that we've already done, we forget about this moment. Life can feel a little bit more frantic, but if we can stay present in the moment with our senses, with our breath, helps us to keep that peace and serenity within. So right now, as you welcome this present moment into your mind, and this energy of staying present into your heart. Let's take one more nice deep inhale in to fill your breath all the way up to the top. One more time, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. On your next breath, glide forward onto the hands and the knees. Make your way into table pose with the wrists lining up underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Next inhale. Straight away, lift the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky. Take a moment, pause. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Expand the collarbones towards the world in front of you. As you exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. And give your head, your neck a little shake out, yes. A little shake out, no. Once again, inhale, heart lifts, tailbone rises. Exhale, tuck the chin, push the earth away. Let's take about five or six rounds of cat-cow, connecting your breath and your movement together as one. Of course, you're always welcome to pause where it feels particularly fantastic to hold your stretch a little longer. Maybe explore the movement, swaying the hips, the shoulders as you move through. Take two more rounds of breath here. On your next breath, coming back into center, neutral spine, plant down through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees, high plank pose, top of a push up. Keep all 10 fingers separated nice and wide, all 10 knuckles flattening into the earth. And draw the navel in, pull the front ribs to the back of the body. Keep the heart sliding forward, the tailbone lengthening backward. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Straight away, inhale, roll the body forward, high plank. Exhale, 
Mukha Mukha, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, uncurl the spine as you roll it forward, high plank pose. Exhale, hips up, chest back, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. And then pause right here and down dog, pedal out the feet, walk it out, bend your right knee, send the left heel down. Bending into the left knee, send the right heel down. Continue to walk it out, bending the elbows, whatever you need here for a couple rounds of breath. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale as you bend the knees, press the heels towards the earth. Once again, inhale high up onto the toes, bend the knees, exhale, press the heels down to the mat. Pause, find some stillness in your dog. Keep all 10 fingers rooting into the mat. Pop the forearms up slightly, go micro bend to the elbows, bicep spiral in towards the ears, forward towards the world in front of you. Triceps drop to the outer walls and the world behind you. And pick those sit bones up a little higher. Now take heels a little closer to the earth as you hide them behind your second toe. Navel in, front ribs lift to the back of the body. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, right leg drips to the sky. Turn the toes out to the side, bend the knee, open up the hip. Take some circles with that right leg in one direction. And sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen your right leg out, toes turn down, inhale. Exhale, right knee into the nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Soften your left knee all the way down to the mat. Inhale, arms rise up, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Draw the navel in, lift the frontal hip bones up to the chin. Pull the low belly in and soften the shoulders away from the ears. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together overhead, lift the heart. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under. If you have those blocks, feel free to grab them. Standing splits. It is early in the practice, so grab the blocks if you need them. Inhale, half lift onto the fingertips. Right thumb hooks that right hip. Pull the right hip towards the sky behind you. Feel your sacrum flat as you exhale, fold in. Left pinky toe faces towards the earth. Inner left thigh rolls in towards the center of the body and up towards the ceiling as you take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, half lift onto the fingertips. Soften your right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Interlace your knuckles at your lower back. Send those knuckles up and overhead. Put a little bend into the elbows. Palms come together a little closer as you lengthen the arms out. Keep that softness in the knees. Maybe you're rocking the arms side to side in this Uttanasana forward fold. On your next breath, release the hands all the way down to the ground. Inhale, fingers to shins. Lengthen the spine, arc. Pull the heart through. Exhale, folding in. You'll toe your feet together to touch. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms overhead to standing. Kiss the palms together overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. I'm gonna have you bend your right elbow. Take the right hand to the nape of the neck. Inhale as you grow tall. Exhale, tilt it up and over to the left side. And pull that left hip back, left armpit forward, keeping the side body nice and long. It's getting a nice stretch all the way through the side of the body into that outer left hip, excuse me, right hip. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, rise it back up. Let the arms come down. Again, circle those arms up. Bend the left elbow, hand to the nape of the neck. Inhale as you grow tall. Exhale, tip it up and over to the right side. Take that right arm pitch, shift it forward. The left a little higher to the sky. And pull your right hip back and your left forward. This is one of my favorite things to do. Really gets that stretch all the way from the armpits down through the hips. It can get so tight in there. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath, rise it back up. Circle the arms down. One more time as you sweep the arms overhead. Inhale, then the elbows lift the heart. Find a back bend. 
palms kiss at the top. Exhale, flat back, hinge from the hips, dives all the way back to the mat. Inhale, lengthen, fingers to shins, Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, bring the hands down, and step that right foot back. Right knee lowers to the mat. Inhale, both arms rise, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Then pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Maybe lift the frontal hip bones up to the chin. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, palms meet overhead. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your left foot. Tuck your right toes under. Step the left foot back, high plank. For the first time, shift the shoulders over the fingertips. Drop the knees if you need to. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, press it back to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Turn the toes out to the side. Bend the knee, open up the hip and circle it out in one direction. Sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen that left leg out, toes turn down, inhale. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step the foot through. Soften the right knee all the way down to the mat. One breath this time, inhale, arms rise, low lunge, palms kiss at the top. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes under, grab those blocks. Float the right leg to the sky, standing splits. Half lift onto your fingertips. Left thumb hooks to your left hip. Pull your left hip up towards the sky. And as you exhale, crown of the head drips towards the earth. A little softness to that left knee if you need it. It's so early in the practice, so really listen to your body here. Breathe through. Let's take one more breath. Next breath, inhale, half lift onto the fingertips, soften the left knee, right foot steps to the top of the mat, feet hip distance once again. Switch the interlace of your knuckles at the lower back, so the opposite thumb is on top. And once again, send those knuckles up and overhead. You keep as deep a bend in your knees right now as you need. Maybe you're rocking the arms side to side. See the head. Take one more breath here. Next breath, hands release all the way down to the ground. Heel toe the feet in together to touch. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, Arda. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms wide to standing. Kiss the palms at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up to the sky. Once again, bend that right elbow, hand to the nape of the neck. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, tip it up and over to the left side. We're taking this breath to movement here. Inhale, back through center. Let the arms come down. Sweep those arms back up and the left elbow. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, over to that right side. Inhale, back through center. Circle the arms down. Inhale, arms rise. Bend the elbows, lift the heart as you goal post the arms, find a back bend. Inhale, palms kiss at the top. Exhale, cascade towards the earth. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, Arda. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step your left foot to the back of the mat. Left knee lowers down, one breath, inhale, low lunge, arms rise. Palms kiss, exhale, hands down on either side of your right foot, tuck your left toes under, step that right foot back, high plank. Shoulders over fingertips, halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank, exhale, Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. This time, inhale, roll the body forward, high plank. Shoulders shift over the fingertips, lower down halfway, Chaturanga. If you are ready for up dog, flip over the tops of the feet, take up dog. Otherwise, you can go all the way down and take it through cobra. Slide the heart forward, keep the tailbone lengthening back. Take one more inhale here, exhale. Hips up, chest back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. We're gonna piece that all together, breath to movement. Inhale, straight away, right leg drifts to the sky. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step it through. Soften that left knee all the way down. Inhale, low lunge, palms kiss at the top. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your right foot. Tuck the left toes under, float the legs, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. Soften your right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, Arda. 
Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, circle the arms wide to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Bend the right elbow, hand to the nape of the neck as you grow tall. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale through center, send the arms down. One more time, circle those arms up as you bend the left elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tip to the right side. Inhale, back through center. Let the arms come down. Circle the arms, bend the elbows, lift the heart, full close the arms. Inhale, palms kiss. Exhale, flat back, dives towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, fingers to shins, arm up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, right foot steps back. Right knee lowers down. Inhale, low lunge, palms kiss. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck your right toes under, float the right knee. Kick that left leg back. This time, maybe that left leg stays floating at the pata as you lower down halfway. Flip over the tops of the feet. Maybe it's cobra, maybe it's upward facing dog. Slide the heart through. Exhale, downward facing, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next inhale, left leg drifts to the sky. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step it through. Soften the right knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana to rise. Palms kiss. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes under, float the legs, standing splits. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins lengthen. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, sweep the arms wide to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up, bend the right elbow, hand to the nape of the neck. Inhale to grow tall, exhale over to the left side. Inhale back through center, send the arms down. Once again, as you sweep the arms up, bend the left elbow. Inhale, grow tall, exhale to the right side. Inhale, rise it back up. Circle the arms down. Next inhale, both arms up. Bend the elbows, lift the heart. Inhale, palms come together. Exhale, hinge from the hips, swan dive towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, heart pulls through. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, keep the right leg forward, step the left leg back. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Palms meet at the top. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, kick that right leg back. Lower it down, halfway chaturanga. Maybe it's floating at kapata. Do you flip over the feet, upward facing, urdhva mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukha sanasana. Take a nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. Once again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Beautiful. I'm going to pretty much take you through that same flow. We're going to change it up just slightly here. On your next inhale, right leg drifts to the sky. Once again, glide the body forward. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step the foot through. This time, keep your left knee lifted. Inhale, crescent pose, arms rise. Let's pull that right hip back, left forward. Tip the frontal hip bones up. Navel in and front ribs. Knit to the back of the body. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, palms meet at the top, lift the heart. Exhale, circle the hands down. As you do, float the left leg to the sky, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. And step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press to the feet, circle the arms overhead to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. It's time, bend the knees, sit the hips low, chair pose, Utkatasana. Arms rise. Beautiful, so staying here in chair pose, shift the shins back a little further. As you sit the hips down deeper, lift the heart up higher. Let's take one more breath like this. Next breath, as you exhale, fold over the legs and straighten them. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, Ardha. Exhale, bend the knees, Plant the palms, step your left foot back. Inhale, crescent pose, arms up. Palms come together at the top. This time as you exhale, blossom into warrior two, front heel, back arch. Right toes point straight forward, left toes slightly forward. Pick that frontal hip up, with those hip bones to the chin, and sit down a little bit deeper. 
Pop the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath here. Next breath, inhale, right palm flips, stretch it back, reverse your warrior, side body grows long. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat, plant through the palms, kick your right leg back, maybe it's floating, at the pata as you lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, heart lift, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step it through. Keep your right knee soft. Inhale, crescent to rise. Ooh, hug that left hip in. Again, tip those frontal hip bones up. Maybe put a little deeper bend into your right knee. And take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, palms come together at the top. Exhale, as you circle the hands down, float your right leg to the sky, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. Soften the left knee, step the right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen Arda. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms wide to standing. Palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, bend those knees. Set the hips low, chair pose, Utkatasana. Take an inhale, exhale, fold over the legs and straighten them. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, right foot steps back once again. Crescent pose, arms rise, palms kiss. Exhale as you open up, warrior two, front heel, back arch. Mm, pausing here, flip that left hip up, off the thigh. Keep your knee nice and deep. A little bend into that right knee and then drive through the heel as you power that leg straight. Keep the gaze over your left middle finger. Take one more breath like this. Next breath, inhale, left palm flips, stretch it back, reverse. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat, plant through the palms, kick your left leg back, lower it down, chaturanga. Of course, you are always welcome to skip vinyasas. Take cat cow if that's more appropriate for you. We'll meet together in downward facing dog. One more time we go, inhale straight into it, getting that heart rate going, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step it through. Inhale, crescent to rise. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, circle the hands down as you float your left leg, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. Step the left foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen Arda. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Circle the arms overhead to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, hips set low, chair pose. Here we go, <laughs> adding on just a tiny bit more. Kiss the palms at the top. Exhale, hands to heart. As you inhale, find length. Exhale, hook your left elbow outside your right thigh. Come into twisting chair, Paparita Utkatasana. Keep that left knee pulling back. And see if you can set your hips deeper than your heart. Let the inhale lengthen. Exhale, twisting open from the waistline. Take one more breath here. Next breath, make your way back through chair. Inhale, exhale, fold over the legs and straighten them. Inhale, fingers to shins lengthen. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step the left foot back. Inhale, crescent pose. Palms come together at the top. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, dance it back, reverse it. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat. Plant through the palms, kick your right leg back. Take your vinyasa, maybe skip it. We meet together in downward facing dog. Next inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, crescent pose. Palms come together at the top. Exhale, sweep the hands on either side of your left foot. Kick your right leg to the sky, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips. Soften the left knee, right foot steps to the top of the mat. Inhale, Arda, pull the heart forward. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms wide to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, hips sit low, chair pose. Take an inhale, palms meet. Exhale, hands to heart. With the inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hook your right elbow outside your left thigh. And sit down a little bit deeper. 
Keep that heart lifting a little higher than the butt, right? Take an inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, twist open from the waistline. Watch that right knee isn't creeping forward too much in front of your left knee. Maybe taking a peek. So you take one more breath here. Nice breath. Inhale back through chair pose. Exhale, fold over the legs and straighten them. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen. Exhale, bring the hands down, step the right foot back. Crescent pose, arms up, palms kiss. Exhale, as you open up, warrior two. Inhale, dance it back, reverse it. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat, plant through the palms. Kick your left leg back, lower it down, chaturanga. Flip over the feet, heart lifts, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana. Let's take a nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Lion's breath, stick out the tongue, scrunch up the face. Once again, inhale, fill it up. Lion's breath, let it go. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the balls of the feet. Look at your hands. Step or hop light to the top of your mat. Inhale, grow the heart through. Exhale, folding in. Bend the knees, hips sit low, chair pose, arms rise. Beautiful. From here, we're slowly going to lower down for the count of four, three, two, hovering just above the earth. Bring it all the way down on one. Nice job. And roll all the way onto your mat. Slowly. So we're just going to get a little bit of core work in here before we might stretch you down. Let's take some yogi bicycles. Bring the shins parallel to the ceiling. Flex through the feet. Hands behind the head. Inhale, lift the head and shoulders. Exhale as you twist to the right. Extend the left leg out. Inhale through center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist. Keep that going. If you want to turn up the heat a little bit more on this, you're more than welcome to straighten the opposite leg out. Right? Bring it back and twist it out. Lengthen and twist. This is always an option. So where your knees, rather than be parallel, shins parallel, the legs would be more parallel with the earth. Stay with it here. I'm going to keep you going here for 10. You can do anything for 10. 9, 8. You've got it. Stay with it for 7. Keep it going for 6. For 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Beautiful. Come back through center. Hug the knees into the chest and rock it out. Beautiful. Let's take the arms out, the legs out. And just pause. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Take one more breath here. Beautiful. On your next breath, bend into the knees. Let the middle fingers graze the backs of your heels. We come into bridge pose, press into the feet, lift the hips up. If you want to take this robot variation today, or more than I call it robot variation, that is not its official name, <laughs> bend the elbows and the fingertips up towards the sky. If you want to take the arms underneath the low back, find that interlace and draw the knuckles forward. Shine the heart back. You feel free. Beautiful. Let's take three more rounds of breath. If you do have that interlace, I'm just going to have you uninterlace the fingers and then switch the opposite thumb on top and re-interlace the fingers. Continue to press through the ball of the foot on that big toe side, activating your inner thighs as you shine the heart towards the world behind you. We'll take one more breath here. On your next breath, release the interlace if you have it. And slowly lower all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, knees hug into the chest, hug around the shins, gently rock side to side, release your lower back. Take that.
that right knee, stack it over the left knee, coming into Gomu Kasana legs, cow face legs. If it's available today, you'll bring the hands to the bottoms of the feet, fingertips are out to the outside edges. If not, you can reach for the ankles or the shins. Just take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the knees towards the chest. One more breath here. On your next breath, release the feet or the legs. Shift the hips off to the right as you inhale. Exhale, drop those knees across the body to the left and allow that right shoulder to fall open. Bringing out our bodies with this twist. Allowing yourself to be here for one more breath. On your next breath, bring those knees back into center. Unwind the legs in between sides. Give your knees a little windshield wiper side to side. Let's come back in through center. Cross left leg over the right leg. Again, if it's available, the bottoms of the feet. If not, can wrap the ankles or the shins. Wherever you are, take an inhale. And as you exhale, draw the knees towards the chest. Keep that left hip pulling down towards the bottom of your mat there, keeping the length on the left side body. And right now, I want you to think about that intention, staying present, staying in the moment that you are living in, especially if you have multiple places to go to today, can you just be right here, right now, for one more breath? On your next breath, shift the hips off to the left and drop the knees across the body to the right. Allow that left shoulder to fall open. Breathing into this. Remembering I am inhaling. I am exhaling. Take one more nice, full, deep breath here. On your next breath, bring the knees back into center, unwind the legs. Take the knees into the chest, hug around the shins. Take a nice deep inhale here as you lift the forehead up to the knees, squeeze everything into a tiny little ball. Take one more drink of air in. Exhale, sigh it out, let it all fall open. <sighs> Make your way into Shavasana, your final resting pose. to the fingers, the toes. Take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms overhead as you stretch from the fingertips through the toe tips. And with the eyes closed, gently rock over to your right side. Take a moment, pause in fetal position, this pose of new beginnings. Just be here in this new beginning for you today. And let's press up to a cross-legged seated position on your mat. Take the palms together at heart center with the thumbs resting against the heart. You're turning back into you. Your breath flowing through you. And your heart beating, thumping below the thumbs. Feeling the beautiful vibration of energy that swirls through you and dances around you. And this is the moment that you're living in, the present moment, the only moment where life is taking place. And the more we allow ourselves to stay here in the moment that we're living in, the more manageable our life feels, the more we get to experience life and everything life has to offer, 
more peace and serenity that we have within. Just remembering that as you walk throughout the rest of your day, staying present exactly where your feet are in this beautiful moment that you have right now. And I thank you so much for practicing with me, for sharing your light and your energy with me and allowing me to share mine with you. Namaste.